How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Discovery. So me and my missus are actually expecting our first child so we're going to be decorating one of our spare rooms and turning it into a nursery kids room. So here's what it looks like at the moment. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much a blank canvas. Um, uh, here's some pictures of what it looked like before I had some cupboards fitted. Um, but now, this is what it looks like now. We've got these uh, large cupboards fitted by uh, our joiner, uh, JD Joinery. Um, check him out on uh, if you live local. Uh, so we've got the cupboards in. So what I'm doing at the moment is we're doing some paneling below here. And then we're going to do uh, a mural there. And then we're going to paint this, the walls, different uh, colours contrasting to the paneling. That's the idea. So this is going to be our nursery build project. Alright guys, so here where we are so far, uh, panelling's done, uh, let's just go through what I kind of did, you know, put the, uh, as you saw in the kind of uh, video, um, we just put some normal nails on the back of it, um, stick it to the wall and then use three kind of pin nails to hold it in place while it dries so it doesn't move around, and then once you've done all the uh, your trims and you measured it all properly, uh, for the gaps here, we've put some wood filler to fill in the gap and then once it's dry we're going to smooth it down so you won't see any seams basically between the panels. Um, we've also got some beading here or data rail, whatever you want to call it and then we've normal nails that to the top as well and we've also put little uh, uh, pin nails to hold it in place as well make sure it doesn't move around, and give it a bit more rigidity and then on the sides here so we get a neat finish we've put caulking all along the sides there and all the top so you don't see any gaps so yeah so far it's gone quite easily it looks quite nice um, and now we're on with uh, taping the uh, skirt in because we're going to uh, cut in for the paint so this is a paint choice that we've got here so this is actually drying at the minute we'll just put that one on uh, but that's a Valspar what's it called? Valspar Jama Pelmissi. Jama Valspar And we've got a Dulux uh, Green Glade there. So these are like mixed colours, they're not off the shelf. So you have to get a mix if you want these colours anyway. We're not going for that green because it's too dark. And then we're putting the, the Green Glade on the panelling section. And um, we're doing the Valspar Jama Pelmissi on the uh, walls. And we're also thinking about doing it on the ceiling as well. Um, and we're just gonna go around here. So the, go, that's the kind of color swatch going on there. It would go quite well. So next update will be after painting. Okay, so here I am getting the uh, panels ready for painting. So, um, because it's raw MDF and wood uh, timber, 
I'm putting some wood primer on here um, and uh, you know just putting like a layer of that wood primer so um, the paint that I use which is that green glade over there will stick to it properly so this is where I'm up to so far Alright guys, so done all the paneling, it's all painted um, and we've just fitted this new uh, ceiling light shade gone for that wicker kind of rope rustic kind of effect to kind of blend in with the whole jungle theme and put a new uh, light bulb in it so there we go, that's what it looks like really really brightens up the room um, so this has got the uh, 1500 lumen bulb um, decorative bulb from b and I'll put the link in the description and it's got uh, 2700k uh, warm kind of white because it's so bright it uh, it's a bit of a more of a whiter kind of look and and it, as it shines through the uh, the pendant it gives this really nice kind of striped effect on the wall in the shadows which is quite cool um, so yeah uh, so we've still got to wait for the mural for to come and then that's the next thing going up. Okay guys, so it's mural time. So I've got the uh, all the sheets laid out, got my paste bucket, got my water bucket. You know, putting the mural together up on the wall and so far this is where I'm up to. So I've done the first drop here, which is the one you want to spend the most time on getting perfect and you know, uh, make sure it's straight. So, you know, I've done like a straight line there using my uh, ruler spirit level there to get a plumb line and get the uh, get that perfectly straight and that one's fitted now. So, hopefully it should be all cool readings from now. I've just got to go all the way up to the edge and then got to worry about that edge at the end. So, yeah, this is the uh, wallpaper mural time. Check it out guys, the mural is up and finished and I think it looks awesome, really uh, finish shot, finishes off the room. Um, got this as well, so this is a cot bed by Tutti Bambini, I'll put a link in the description. But the good thing about it is it can last from newborn all the way up until um, four or six years old depending on the size and it converts into either a sofa uh, or sofa bed and a uh, toddler bed as well so which is pretty cool so it's adaptable so it should last us a while and it matches the uh, colour matches the uh, the actual cupboards as well quite well um, so it's coming together I've still got a few more things to do we've got an idea for the ceiling as well for some netting and some bit more decorating pieces so we'll see where, where we end up
Okay, so I've got these stickers on now. There's also one there, but I've moved this cut out of the way because now we're doing some crazy stuff. Um, I'm going to be taking this lampshade off for the time being and we're going to put up this canopy net, which, we're, which looks like this, like that. So a bit of a crazy idea, but hopefully it's going to look cool. And then we're going to um, put it in like pleats like this uh, on the ceiling and then hang some foliage off it to give the whole jungle vibe. So that's the plan and hopefully it'll look good and not terrible. All right, peeps, the vine is now up, the ivy and the jungle canopy is finished. We've got panda bear here chilling out and yeah, it looks really, really good. Put the cot back in the right place. You know, got the whole Bengal tiger. So he's gonna sleep here or she, whatever it's gonna be and it's gonna look up into the canopy where we're gonna have our stuffed animals and stuff like that. So yeah, it looks uh, really nice. Quite happy with how that turned out. And now we've just gotta do a little bit of decorating bits and bats like shelves and, um, shelves and some picture frames and stuff like that. So it's not far off. Okay guys, so the room's finished, so let's check it out. All right, so let's start with the biggest thing here. So we've got the really nice mural here with the panel in it and it turned out absolutely spot on. Really happy with how it turned out. And um, with the uh, nice netting canopy that we've got here with all the vines going through it, works really, really well. Um, and it's a good place to put loads of teddies that we're gonna be getting for gifts and you know, for when we go out and buy toys for him. Uh, or her, whatever it is going to be, not sure. <laughs> um, it's going to go uh, up in the canopy, so it's a nice place to put it um, instead of just kind of lying on the floor, using up your floor space. Um, so uh, this is the uh, cot bed we decided to go for. It's called the Tutti Bambini Modena uh, cot bed. So it's a three in one, it transforms to a cot. You can have it at different levels for different age ranges. And it also converts into uh, a sofa and a toddler bed as well, so you can take the sides off, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it'll last from uh, birth all the way up until about four to five years old, depending on uh, their size. So to match with that, we've also got this. So this is the uh, 2T Bambini, again, Modena uh, changing unit, which comes with a removable changing uh, area here where you can put a mattress, which is pretty cool. And you can obviously change your bed there, uh, uh, the baby there, and then get all your nappies and stuff from the drawers and dump it on there. And a nice little touch is what we've got here. Obviously, we've got these really nice uh, photo frames here. Um, which I actually got from Etsy, these prints, um, really nice. So I'll put a link from where I got them from. And we did a bit of a uh, home hack. So we bought these um, frames and then we used a bit of excess uh, rope that we had from the netting. And my missus actually hot glued the rope around the frame to make it obviously tie in with the whole theme. And it looks really, really smart. It turned out really, really well. 
And again, um, I'll put the links in the description for these. And these are the cover Monstera. I think it's called Monstera foliage stickers. And they're literally just, you know, as you saw in the video, they just transfer on. And they're completely removable as well, non tox as well, in case the baby decides to eat one. You won't have any problems there as long as they don't choke. And then we've got one in the corner there as well. It's a nice little touch. We've left this space here just a bit free in front of that decal for a rocking chair. A nursing chair or something like that which we plan on putting in later on. Um, we've decided to go for this uh, really nice uh, bookshelf um, which we got again from Amazon, I'll put the link in the description, um, but it's a, a Walmarted one and you can have obviously loads of like books and toys and stuff like that hanging on there, really really cool stuff so it'll, it'll tie in nice with the uh, rocking chair once we have that. Um, flipping over here we have the, uh, what our joiner fitted is this um, huge uh, wardrobe. So we wanted something that the uh, baby could uh, grow into kind of thing as they, as they grow older and have all their clothes in there. So we decided to go for this one, uh, which our joiner uh, fitted bespoke. It's got two kind of clothing rails and you've got room for some shelving there as well for nappies and all sorts of stuff like that. But it means, you know, um, we don't have to like buy a new one later on as they grow a bit older. Um, so I think for the uh, blinds we've gone for as well, we these are from, I think it's blinds to go, but they're made to measure and we've gone for, not quite lucky with the sample set because they've got the nice white tapes and the um, kind of uh, Venetian oak style uh, blind, uh, to match the whole white and you know oak theme that we're going for as well which worked out really really nicely and i think the final thing we've got here is uh this um uh, what is it it's a height chart Heart, so yeah, it's quite chart. nice uh we got this from etsy you can customize them as well with the name of the baby um but we didn't want to customize ours because we don't know um what the baby's going to be yet so we don't decide uh, but it goes all the way up to five foot as well. Uh, but it doesn't go all the way down to the ground, so you'll have to start counting when the baby's about 60 centimeters tall. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's pretty much it really. So uh, I think it's come together quite well. I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, please let me know what you guys think. If you've got any questions on how I achieved this look, please give us a shout. All the links for everything is in the product description, in the video description, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you